Hello dear students, in this video I'm going to explain the transfer efficiency and how can you determine the transfer efficiency. Uh, the definition of transfer efficiency, the ratio of the power that reaches the city or factory to the power sent by the power station and it is unitless. So it means that you can find the value of transfer efficiency is equal to received power divided by p cent okay is the ratio of the received power to the uh, power sent by the power station and it is unitless why because it is the ratio between two powers what with what cancel to each other and to find the percentage of transfer efficiency you have to multiply by uh, 100 percent okay uh, in the case when the power received is not given the received power p received is equal to what is equal to as you can see here p cent minus p lost p cent minus p lost look at this figure this is power station okay the power station or generator they send the power what is this this is p Sent okay, so during the transmission of the electricity or the electric power, uh, the power will be dissipated through the wire. Okay, and it means that some of the power will be lost. Okay, and when this power is reaches to the houses or the factories, this power is called what P received. P received. Okay, how can you determine this received power? Received power at houses or factories is equal to P cent minus P lost. Okay, P cent minus P lost. So, how can you determine P cent? P cent is equal to IV. Okay, is equal to what? I uh, current, the magnitude of the current time is the potential difference. And to find P lost, P lost is equal to I squared R because the power will be lost in the uh, wire as a resistance. Like for example, uh, the resistance of the wire depends on four factors. The resistance of the wire depends on four factors. The first one, the length of the wire. And it is relation is directly proportional. So for example, which one has more resistance? If two wire with the same material, but one wire it, it's stretcher or has more length than the another wire. So which wire has more resistance? The length, the wire with the high distance or short distance, the high distance of the wire has uh, more resistance because it is directly proportional, okay? And the second factor, uh, the resistance depending on the thickness and the thinness of wire with cross-section area of the wire. So if this relation is inversely proportional, for example, which wire has more resistance? The thick wire or thin wire? The thin wire has more resistance because resistance with the cross-section area of the wire is inversely proportional. Uh, the thick wire has less resistance, the thin wire has more resistance. The third factor, uh, the resistance depends on the type of the material. For example, which one has more resistance with the same cross-section area and same length, but different type of material? Iron or copper? The copper has less resistance, uh, but the iron uh, material has, or iron wire has more resistance. The last factor that the resistance depends on is temperature. For example, if we have two copper wire, with the same length and same cross-section area. But one wire is, its temperature is higher than the another wire. Which one has more resistance? The higher temperature or the lower temperature? Absolutely, the higher temperature has more resistance. Why? Because the particles of the material of higher temperature has more uh, kinetic uh, energy or has more vibration. That is why it has more resistance, okay? Um, so to find p loss is equal to i squared times resistance okay as you can see uh, in this uh, pdf okay 
Pcn is equal to IB to find the power sent by station and pure received is equal to Pcn minus P loss and P loss is equal to I square R. How can you reduce the energy loss in the transmission line? How can you reduce the magnitude of the resistance? Because the resistance depending on many factors, we can reduce the amount of resistance by what? By using step up transformer. By using what? Step up transformer. Why by using step up transformer, uh, the, the, the energy loss will be reduced? Because energy loss is equal to what? P loss times delta T. And P loss is equal to what? I squared R times delta T. In step up transformer, in step up transformer, the value of potential difference increases. But it is current decreases. When the current decreases, when current decreases, what happened to the energy loss? It also decreases. That is why to reduce the power dissipation or to reduce the energy loss through the transmission of the electricity, we have to use step up transformer. Okay? Why? Because in step up transformer, the value of potential difference increases, but the current decreases. When the current decreases, what happened to the power dissipate? The power dissipate also decreases. So what happened to the energy loss? Energy loss was also decreases. Okay, this is the first factor. The second one, by choosing a thick wire. Why thick wire? Because the thick wire has less resistance. For example, this is thick wire and this is thin wire. This is thin wa thick wire and this is thick wire, okay? So let me draw, uh, sorry. So which one has more resistance? This one has, uh, sorry, this one has more resistance, but this one has less resistance because resistance with the cross-section area is inversely proportional. Less cross-section area, more resistance. More cross-section area, less resistance, okay? And the third factor is by using wires of low resistivity, low resistivity, which means that we have to use copper, copper wire than iron wire. Which type of wire can be used for transmission electricity? Copper wire or iron wire? Absolutely copper wire. Why? Because copper wire has less resistivity. Okay? So, uh, the ignition coil in the gasoline engine is step up transformer. As you know, in a car, the engine of the car, uh, the battery can be used. Okay? So, as you know that the battery is DC current. It is magnetic and direction does not change, okay? But in car, we have to use what? Step up transformer, okay? But let me ask you a very good question. As you know, in a previous lesson, we studied and you have learned it, that the transformer can be worked with only AC current or DC pulsating current. The transformer can never work with DC of battery. DC battery of current cannot be using for the transformer, but how uh, the DC battery in the car, in the engine of the car or in the ignition coil of the gasoline engine, the DC of battery is used to step up transformer because of this ignition switch, okay? This ignition switch makes this direct current to the DC pulsating current. Why? Because in the case when the switch, when the switch is open, the magnet of the current becomes zero. When the switch is closed, the current becomes maximum. So this switch will be turned on, turned off, okay, continuously, automatically. So in that case, by closing and opening this switch, this ignition switch, the magnitude of the current will be various, will be changes. By changing the magnitude of the current, the transformer will work because this current becomes DC pulsating current by this ignition switch. What is the advantage or the uses of ignition switch? The ignition switch can be used 
to change the magnitude of the current in DC battery. Why? Because transformer require changing the current or changing the direction of the current to become a step up or step down. Okay? So, as you know, the potential difference of the battery of car is approximately 12 volt, but this 12 volt is too less to working uh, the variety devices in our car, like the spark in the plugs and the stereo and uh, many other applications like the wings and the flashlight and uh, the water pump okay so they require uh, many uh, potential difference not this 12 volt okay because this variety of the applications in the car does not work with the, this 12 volt as you know that for burning the fuels we need this plug okay so this plug produces a spark okay this part of the plugs this this part will produce with 100,000 volt from 40,000 volt to 140 uh, 200,000 volt this part will not produce with 12 volt that is why the transformer in the ignition coil gasoline engine is what step up transformer okay Question 32, explain why transformer, why transformer, uh, explain why transferring energy, transferring energy with high potential, with what? High potential and low current, low current, this is power, is more practical than transferring it under low potential and high current. Why? What is the reason? Because high potential and low current low current has low power loss because uh, the low current because the current is directly proportional to the power loss that is why p loss is equal to i squared r less current less power dissipation that is why the power companies they are using step up transformer high potential difference and low current for transmitting transmitting electricity sample problem 6i the power in the secondary coil of power station is 1 megawatt what is this this is p cent p cent is 1 megawatt you have to convert to watt multiply by 10 power 6 watts what is this this is p cent okay uh, the station sends the current to the city by means of lines 10 ohm. What is the, this 10 ohm? This is resistance. Resistance is 10 ohm. What is this? This is resistance. So you can recognize all physical quantity only by the units. Okay? And the potential difference, 1 times 10 power 5 volt. V1 times 1 times uh, 10 power 5 volt okay this is the potential difference okay uh, what is unknown in this question uh, we have to find the transfer efficiency calculate what transfer efficiency how can you calculate the transfer efficiency at first you have to write down the equation of transfer efficiency transfer efficiency is equal to what P received divided by what? Divided by P cent times 100%. Do we have P received? No. In this question, the received power does not given. Okay? So that is why we have to analyze the received power to what? P received is equal to what? P cent minus P lost divided by p cent multiply 100 percent okay transfer efficiency do we have p cent yes but we don't have p lost how can you find p lost p lost as i told you is equal to what i squared times r okay so i squared do we have current no Current is equal to what? Because the power and the potential difference is given, P 
P is equal to what? I, V. I is equal to what? I is equal to P over V. P 10 power 6. V 10 power 5. I is equal to what? 10 power 1 or 10 ampere. To find P loss, we need current and resistance. Do we have resistance in this question? Yes. Do we have current? No, we didn't have current. But we found it. Okay, the current was not given in this question. We found current. How, how, how could you find current? Because of the power sent and the potential difference. Because P is equal to what? Is equal to IV. After finding the current, you can replace into this equation to find P loss. P loss is equal to 10 squared times by 10 is equal to 1000 watts. Okay, so replace P sent was given 10 power 6 minus p loss 1000 10 power 3 divided by 10 power 6 times 100 percent is equal to million minus 1000 is equal to 9999 uh, watt divided by 1 million is equal to 0.99 times 100 percent is equal to 99.9 percent the transfer efficiency in this power station is equal to what is equal to 99.99 percent because uh, there is no uh, ideal efficiency of the transmission of the electricity because of some of the current will be lost through the transmission of the electricity Okay. Uh, practice six I question one. Calculate the power loss as heat in the wire of resistance. Resistance is given 120 ohm, and when transferred by current 50 ampere. I 50 ampere. How can you find the power loss? The power loss is unknown. So P loss is equal to I square R replace I was given 120 square time is sorry is equal to 50 square times 120 P loss is equal to 300,000 watts or you can write 300 and instead of this 3 you can write kilo watt or you can write 0.3 mega watt there is no difference between these three values all values are the same okay and we have a huge amount of the power loss because the magnitude of the current is high and the resistance also is high that is why P loss has a high value. Question two. The qu question two uh, related with question one. Okay. In question two, if a power of three million watt is sent along the wire, so it means that P sent P sent was given is equal to 3 times 10 power 6 watts you have to convert mega to number okay in item 1 calculate the power at the end of the terminal calculate the power at the end of the terminal it means that the received power what do you mean by power at the end of the terminal it means that the power at houses or at factories p received what is unknown p received is unknown okay uh, and the transfer efficiency, also we have to find transfer efficiency. We have two unknown in this question, okay? The first, to find P received, P received is equal to what? Is equal to P sent minus P lost, okay? So because this question related with uh, question one, we have to use P lost in previous question. P received 
is equal to PCN. Do we have PCN? Yes, was given. 3 times 10 power 6 is minus P laws. 3 times 10 power 5 what? Okay. Uh, 3 times 10 power 5 or 300 kilowatt or 300,000 watt, the same thing. Okay. So is equal to what? P received is equal to by calculator at 27 times 10 power 5 what? Okay, this is pure receive. The second unknown, find the transfer efficiency. Transfer efficiency is equal to P received divided by P cent multiplied by percent replace P received. Do we have P received? No, we didn't have, but we found it. We found P received replacing to this equation. 27 times 10 power 5 divided by P cent. 3 times 10 power 6 times 100%. So by calculator, transfer efficiency is equal to 90%. Transfer efficiency is equal to in number 0.9. If you convert to percent, it, it is equal to 90%. Okay, this is question two. Uh, question 51. So in this question, a generator supplies five times 10 power three kilowatt. Okay, so this is uh, P cent, okay. P was given is equal to a uh, five times 10 power three kilowatt which is equal to 5 times 10 power 6 is what? Kilo 10 power 3 and already we have 10 power 3, 10 power 3, 10 power 3 is equal to 10 power 6. The output EMF is 4,500 volt before it is stepped up to 510 kilo volt. It means that in this generator the stepped up transformer is used. V is equal to what? Is equal to 510 times 10 power 3 volt. This is V. The electricity by this power and this potential difference you can find in the value of current. I is equal to what? P over V. 5 times 10 power 6 is divided by 510 times 10 power 3 which is equal to 9.8 ampere. We have to find current. Okay? How can you find the value of the current? By using the power and the potential difference of the generator, okay? The electricity travels 6.44 times 10 power 5 meter through the transmission line. This is the length of the wire. The length of the wire was given. L is equal to what? 4, uh, sorry, 6 point. 6.44 times 10 power 5 meter. Okay? When this line is given in kilometer or centimeter, you have to convert to meter. Okay? Has a resistance per unit length. What do you mean by resistance per unit length? It means that R over L. R over L is equal to what? 4.5 10 power negative 4 ohm per meter. Ohm per what? Per meter. How much power is lost through the transmission of the electrical energy along this line? We have to find what? How much power is lost? P lost. Okay. How can you find P lost? At first, you have to write down the equation of P lost is equal to what? I square R. Do we have I? We didn't have, but we found it. How could you find the magnitude of the current by power? and potential difference because there is a relation between potential difference and the power and the current p is equal to what iv p is equal to what p is equal to iv the rule of vip if you rearrange this equation i is equal to what p over v okay so do we have resistance no we don't have resistance but also you can find in the value of the resistance because r over l is equal to 4.5 times 10 power negative 4 replace 
L. Do we have R? No. Do we have L? Yes. Was given. L. 6.44 times 10 power 5 times 4.5 times 10 power negative 4. Multiply this two value. This is equal. Okay. R is equal to what? Uh, by calculator, R is equal to uh, 290 ohm. 200 what? 90 ohm. So finally, we can find the value of P lost. Okay. P lost is equal to I, we found, square times 290. P lost is equal to what? P loss is equal to 28 times 10 power 3 watt. So this is branch A. In branch B, so it means that by using, by using step up transformer, P loss is equal to what? 28,000 watt. By using what? Step up transformer. In branch B, in the case, for example, without using stable transformer, if the potential difference is 4,500 volt, what will be the power dissipation in this case? In the second case, when V, if we change the value of potential difference from 510 kilovolt high potential difference to low potential difference, which one has more power dissipation? High potential difference or low potential difference? Absolutely, the high potential difference has less power dissipation. The low potential difference has more power dissipation. Why? Because it has more current, but this one has less current. Okay? So, potential difference changes from 510 kilovolt to what? 4,500 ohm. To what? 4,500 volt. What happened to the current? Is the current changes? Yes, absolutely. Why? Because when the current changes, when the potential difference changes, the value of the current is also changes. But P is the same. The power of generator does not change. Be careful. Okay? The potential difference changes to 4,500. So the value of the current now is equal to what? Is equal to 1.1. Times 10 power 3 ampere, 1000 ampere. High current. High current has high power dissipation. Okay? Let's check. The resistance does not change. Resistance is the same, 290 in both cases. Okay? But the value of the current changes. 9.8 to what? 1.1 10 power 3. So as you can see, the power dissipation is equal to what? Or the power loss is equal to P loss. 1.1 times 10 power 3 squared times 290 is equal to what? 3.6 times 10 power 8 watt. Which is equal to watt. 360 million watt dissipated in the second case. It means that without step up transformer what is this this is without step up transformer without step up transformer more power will be dissipated but by using step up transformer less power will be dissipated so which one is better for electric transmission high step up transformer or step down transformer absolutely step up transformer why because in step up transformer the power dissipation much less than the step down or without step up transformer okay so uh, that's all for today thank you for listening inshallah in the next lesson we will solve the questions of the section review and the chapter review of chapter six and the standardized test prep of chapter six thank you for listening